Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And hello to all the new subscribers, thank you for joining us. Um, this video, um, I got to looking at some of my outboards out there on the rack and uh, thought to myself, you know, there's been a few of these outboards that are sitting out here on this rack that have been there for at least two years without being started or or anything and because it's been so long I can't remember if I fogged them and blah 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 so I'm gonna bring a few of those in here and just do a, a start on them and make sure they're all in still good repair and uh, lube them up clean them up some of them's got the old North Pacific some of them have the old Pacific Northwest green slime mold stuff starting to grow on them and that's a sure sign that uh, I'm neglecting I'm ne I'm guilty I'm the guilty of abuse outboard abuse so we're gonna get them in here clean them up lube them up run them a little bit and uh, the first one I'm going to bring in here is a little, I think it's a 9.9 .9 Evinrude four-stroke. Um, it's been sitting out there at least a couple years. Uh, I've only had one or two people even inquire about the little motor, and it's sad because it's a good running little kicker. So I've got that one, and then one or two more that I might bring in here and just do a, a quick... Um, preventative maintenance check on them we'll call it that and uh, make sure they're all ready to go so let's get started on this first little kicker and see what we get let's go okay got her juiced up let's pull a choke I think we were in reverse. Get a little shot at try flow and see if that'll you know, push the choke in and throttle wide open. See if I can bring her to life that way. Um, now we'll do the choke. A little bit.
running, little kicker. First thing I'm gonna do get some soap on it. And in it. You know, see this old green mold on the handle here? Get rid of that stuff. On the handle, you want a tiller even. Hey, you know what I did? Let me show you what I did. I went down to my little hanky hardware store and bought a brush that actually has some bristles for cleaning. Who'd have thunk? Man, get all this. Green stuff slurried around, slathered, slathered around. Get that all off of there. Look at that. Get all this old green Pacific Northwest slime stuff. I just, I've seen people put brand new vinyl siding on their house around here. Two years later, it's green. Only problem is when they put put it on there 24 months earlier, it was white. So you might as well just put green vinyl side. Is this gonna turn green? I always see people out there pressure washing it. Get the green on, get the green on. Just buy the green side, man. Even one of these transom clamps done seized on that. This one, I can move, but should, they're going to need to be freed up. Yeah, they're going to need to be freed up as well. sit for a little bit some bits and bits and let it sit and then get all this old slime off of this thing and then we'll hose her down I'll be back
That look a little bit better. It's name that tune. I don't know why you treat me so bad. Think of all the things we could have had. Love's an ocean that I can't forget. I don't know why you treat me so bad. Think of all the things we could have had. Love's an ocean that I can't forget. Name Dad Dude. <laughs>
That's what they call a bow picker. They run big salmon nets out the front of that, right between those chocks, and just let them drift. Now this old boat here is, is a sad story. Like so many other beautiful wood boats. I went inside this boat when it was floating probably about 40 years ago. And it was owned by a couple and they invited me in to look at it and it was pristine inside and out. Everything, all the beautiful uh, teak wood inside it and everything um, and now it's just a, a derelict you can see water dripping out of the bow right there all the bulwarking and everything on this boat used to just be stained and beautiful inside everything was teak and mahogany just gorgeous and there she sits Most of these boats here will be destroyed. They have racked up harbor fees and so forth and not paid. And uh, so they're semi-derelict. Most of them will be uh, busted up with a big link belt dozer and burned. Very sad. Indeed. There's still some potential on that one. A lot of guys are taking these right here. They generally came with uh, Volvo inboards, inboard outboards, should I say. And a lot of them are adding a big jack plate deck to the back and putting outboards on them, big four-stroke outboards. There's several of those. And some of them are, are done really well. There's one in the harbor I see once in a while. Not only do the engines tilt, um, tilt trim, but there's a, the whole jack plate lifts up. So when the boat's moored, 
the engines can be lifted completely out of the water. Uh, the guy did a real nice job with it. Hopefully I'll film it sometime. Yep. Yeah. That's sad right there. Okay, so I got the 35 in a tank and I hooked up a battery. So, um, I can already tell a few things if you look at this throttle, it's pretty stiff. Um, yeah, so we got the old stiff throttle. And but before I do a uh, fax check, 
transom clamps are stuck, froze, broke off. Um, I hooked up a battery and uh, it does turn over. So I'm going to go ahead and just try and start it before we do the facts check and let's see if we can see what the owner's complaints are and so forth. So give it just a little gas. Squeeze it the bulb. Let me turn on the noisy sucker. There we have it. Um, the water pump impeller in there is almost acting like it's slipping on the hub, um, the center part of the impeller. It almost acts like the rubber part of the impeller is kind of slipping on that and catching. Um, or could it just be there's so much yuck in my tank. That's hard to say. But, um, 
I thought the owner's complaint was that it would not start, and if it would start, it would just die. It actually seems to run fairly decent. And even though it looks like it's kind of steaming and stuff here, it's only 44 degrees out today. So um, I get a lot of that when I don't have a nice, dry, sunny day, um, which is not that often. So on this one, the throttle needs to be taken apart. The riser that goes up to the bell crank for the advancement of the stator, that needs to all come off. The flywheel come off. A lot like I just did uh, with that little 7.5. Get some lube down in there. Get everything cleaned up in there where that throttle will work. Because uh, right now it's, it's just real stiff and everything. The Kavarepa, it could probably use a cleaning. Um, this particular fella here is, is a guide, a hunting guide, lives way out remote. So this engine doesn't get serviced um, hardly ever and does a lot of sitting. During the hunting seasons, it's out there earning its keep and then boom, it's thrown in a shed somewhere, if lucky, and that's where it sits. So. It, it's going to need a water pump impeller. It's uh, probably uh, a good cleaning on the carb. Pop the flywheel, clean all that off, and regardless, um, I can't get it to run hot per se. Um, I never got over 150 degrees out of it, I don't think, but the way that that impeller um, is peeing, it's like something ain't right there um, in that water pump. So it at least needs to be dropped and needs to have the water pump checked out. So, but because the owner didn't express any of those complaints, um, I'm going to give him a call and say, here's what I think, here's what I think needs to be done, and ching -ch ching here's how much. You understand. And see if he wants to go for it and if not I'll tell him what I found and uh, we'll see so that's where I'm gonna be on this one for right now I gotta make a few phone calls on it and I'm gonna do that and so it looks like that's gonna be a wrap on this here vid but remember that's one more hack from these parts in Kodiak thanks for watching Please like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.